Hi there. Welcome to the last of the Athletic Horse series and today we're looking at the respiratory system and the horse's lungs. So the primary purpose of the respiratory system is to transport oxygen from the air breathing in down into the lungs, then it goes across the membranes into the blood and transports the oxygen to other parts of the body. And so we've talked about all of the other adaptations, I guess, that horses have to make them so athletic. And they all rely on this massive supply of oxygen to be able to create the energy required in the muscles. During intense exercise, over the course of about one kilometer, a horse will have moved 1800 liters of air in and out of its lungs. So as the air is taken in, the horse needs to grab as much oxygen as it can from that to transport it to support this massive energy need. So there are two different pathways, one with oxygen called aerobic and one without oxygen called anaerobic. And both of these pathways lead to energy production in the horse. The anaerobic pathway, although it's fast, doesn't create as much energy as the aerobic pathway and it also produces lactic acid. So what we really want the horse to do is be able to produce as much energy through the aerobic or with oxygen pathway as they can, which will um, limit fatigue um, and I guess enable them to exercise harder for longer. So not surprisingly, horses have some great adaptations um, enabling them to use the oxygen from the lungs. Horses have a huge lung capacity. Um, I borrowed this video with permission from Flare Nasal Strips, so um, go over there and check out their product if you like, but what a fantastic video that enables us to have a really good look at the lung capacity of the horse. This allows the horse to consume up to about 40 times the amount of oxygen during exercise than it does at rest. If all the airways in the lung were opened out and laid flat on the ground, they would actually occupy a total area equivalent of 10 tennis courts. So horses do not breathe in through their mouth like we do. They rely solely on their nasal cavity that goes directly down into their lungs. The horse's nasal passages are actually separated from the mouth cavity. So the only way a horse would be taking in through their mouth is something is not going right, they have a soft palate problem or even an injury. So obviously taking air in through these nostrils is very important and can be limiting for a horse. Um, if you imagine yourself breathing really heavily in through your nose, the nasal cavities can slightly collapse during that time. So again, check out our friends at Flare Nasal Strips because that's what these guys do to um, try and circumvent this a little for the horse. The other unusual thing that a horse does during respiration is that at the canter and gallop, it breathes exactly in time with its stride. This is called respiratory locomotor coupling. In fact, when the horse's front legs are off the ground, air is drawn into the nasal passages, and when they hit the ground, air is forced out of the nasal passages. So the amount of time to inhale and exhale are actually quite equal. So as the horse starts to run faster, it starts to breathe more. As the horse doubles its um, speed of stride, it needs to take in double the amount of air. And that's why this respiratory locomotor coupling um, really does benefit the horse. An important thing to note for us riders is a girth that's too tight will actually inhibit a horse's performance. Not because it keeps the um, chest so tight the lungs can't expand, but because you really do reduce the um, ability of the muscles in the forelimbs to work effectively. One of the things that's important about the respiratory system is as opposed to the other systems that we've talked about with the athletic horse, you can't train the respiratory system to take in any more oxygen than it currently does. So you can train your horse to be fitter, you can get bigger and faster muscles, you can train the cardiovascular response, you cannot train the respiratory response. So in this point, when you're actually getting up to higher levels of competition, 
actually the respiratory system can be a bit of a limiting factor. Okay, I hope you found this video interesting. Please click like on the video, subscribe to the channel so that you can keep up with everything and all the new changes that are coming next year for Kazadan's Equestrian. Hop on over to the flare nasal strips. If you're a competitive rider, gee, have a look at this stuff. Because as I said, you can't train that out. Um, and this is a way to help not limit your horse's oxygen supply. Thanks and see you next week.